拙者が行きます
Okay, so I don't know anything about One Piece. I don't care to learn. <laughs> One Piece is like 5,000 episodes too long already. But uh, this character is pretty cool. Uh, from what I've seen, I haven't played the other characters yet. Uh, all the DLC characters actually have unique mechanics. So they're kind of incorporating a Basara like design. Uh, the way her unique mechanic works is that when you use her full force burst, uh, you get the generic attack speed and the, the power boost but you also get extensions for all of your charge attacks so effectively she is a speed type with power type uh, charge extensions uh, more I guess a more accurate description would be uh, the charge type characters in the samurai warriors like Yukimura for instance how he could extend his charge strings uh, his charge combos like three times that's basically how this works here uh, so with this character I mean, there's there's no new content still. I, I hate to break it to you. I, I don't know why they can't they can't recycle what's already in this game and, and make a damn <laughs> a mode with something to do to use these characters on. But uh, if you want to do end game content with her, uh, I would suggest having full force burst enhancement or I forget what it's called, but the one that makes it so your special uh, meter gain is faster. Uh, you want to stay in that mode as much as possible. That's what makes her really strong. Uh, her moveset, for what it's worth, is actually quite good. Uh, she has a lot of really good stuff early on in her her charge attack order, which is nice because there definitely are a lot of uh, speed types in this game that, uh, you know, their stuff is really far towards the end. It's kind of like uh, how Samurai Warriors, I think the dumbest thing they ever did was add the, uh, the normal type characters, the ones that had like charge nines and stuff. 
you know, with no offsetting in the game or anything, it, it took way too long to get to those moves if those were the ones you wanted to use for certain situations. Uh, so the fact that she can extend all her strings, and uh, a lot of the good ones are really early on, uh, definitely makes her more ground-based than a lot of the other air combo characters. Uh, her C4, her C3, uh, C2, the C1 is pretty busted too. Uh, that can pretty much just clear a room by itself. Overall, she's very fun to play. I haven't touched the other characters yet. I'm sure you know how much of a exercise and frustration it is leveling up a character in this game because you have to click yes and confirm like every single upgrade. I think it took me like 10 minutes to upgrade her. Uh, I think this DLC is its a step in the right direction. I don't know much about One Piece, but I do know that they are relatively caught up in terms of where the manga and the anime are, so I don't know if they'll be able to make another one of these in the, the near future. It seems like um, the gap between 3 and 4 was like 5 years, and I think that was mostly just because uh, you know they had to wait for the author to write all this stuff, <laughs> since this, this is one of those never-ending shonen manga. Uh, Maybe they'll do another season. I, I would hope if they do that A, uh, they incorporate this kind of character design. Uh, a lot of the characters in this game are very poorly designed. Uh, they either don't have the core gameplay mechanic, meaning you know they don't have air combos, so it's like, what's the point in playing them? Uh, other times they have like hitbox problems or their movesets are not good. Um, a lot of them are kind of flawed just by the, uh, the type system in general, like sky types. Some of them have really good ground charge attacks, but you can't use them because you basically want to be in full force burst and uh, flying the whole time. Uh, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of characters that really suck at, at breaking armor. Pretty much all these characters can. Uh, pretty much all the DLC characters can break armor almost instantly. Uh, there are ones that have like more utility. Uh, they're not just flashy animations. They actually have uh, you know practical uses in combat, like breaking guards or crowd control. Other things like that. I haven't tried the other characters yet. Obviously, right now is it's uh, a hectic time for me. <laughs> this is like the uh, niche action game Christmas season right now. There's a uh, Neo 2 got its DLC today. I haven't even really done much with Virgil yet. And then this came out, and then Super Meat Boys next week. So I'll try to get to the other characters within the next few days. Uh, overall, if you want some fun characters to play with, I would recommend buying this. But Ultimately, uh, this is one of the worst season passes they've done. Uh, I know people didn't like the Fire Emblem Musou season pass because it had, you know, clones that you were paying for, which, you know, is not really acceptable in any way, but that pass was $20. It was cheaper than this by $10, and it also actually did add a considerable amount of endgame content. Uh, there were a lot of new weapons, a lot of new builds that you could make, uh, things like that that really gave you replay value. Uh, that game had its, its problems with being too easy to break too, but uh, that season pass was way better. I, I feel like if they're going to keep making Muso games and they're going to keep doing season passes with actual unique characters and not clones, uh, they definitely need to supplement it with more content. I feel like uh, this is kind of a waste really. I, I feel like if I had bought this game like today, uh, fresh file, <laughs> never played it before, and I bought the deluxe edition, then uh, I would really enjoy these characters, but as it stands now, uh, it just hurts even more that these are very unique characters. They actually have unique gimmicks, so uh, a lot of the characters in this game are very samey. Uh, a lot of the ones that don't have air combos just suck to play, or their gimmicks don't work properly, or they just don't have like a moveset that really functions well in the, the capabilities or the requirements that this game really needs you know, for you to succeed. A lot of characters can't break guards and things like that. It's a shame that they're actually really diversifying the characters and they're making them more balanced and putting more thought into their movesets than the base roster, where there's a lot of characters that just aren't fun to play, but there's nothing to use these people on, so you end up just playing for a couple hours and moving on. Uh, I know the game, I think it's on sale on Switch right now. Uh, I think it is anyway. I would recommend buying the Season Pass uh, if you have not played the game before, because these characters are very fun. Uh, they're much more... I guess competently designed <laughs> than a lot of the characters you get in the base game. So they're, they will be quite fun to play when you haven't exhausted all the content. But when you have, uh, I honestly feel this content's a ripoff. It's kind of a slap in the face, really, to, to make such unique, fun characters like this. But the game hasn't had any kind of content drop or expansion 
at all since launch. It's a mess. Uh, I hope they'll learn from this. Maybe they'll do a season two for this and they'll address the main issues with this game, the balancing, uh, how many characters don't have the core new gameplay mechanic, like the year combos, and then just adding some kind of supplemental endgame mode would really go a long way. Anyway, I'll get the other characters out when I can. Thanks for watching.